Mr. President, one of the sad occasions from time to time of a United States Senator is to rise and pay tribute to a friend and a citizen in one state who's passed away. It's now that occasion for me. This past weekend, a great hero of Georgia, both the University of Georgia and the state of Georgia, Clisby Clark, passed away in his sleep in Highlands, North Carolina. He'll be laid to rest in Atlanta, Georgia on this coming Thursday at a ceremony beginning at 11 a.m. at Peachtree Road United Methodist Church. Clisby wasn't just a citizen of my state, he was an extraordinary citizen of my state. A University of Georgia graduate who was the head of the University of Georgia as one of the great songwriters of our campus, wrote most of the fight songs played today for the University of Georgia football team, and could tear a piano up by playing by ear like no one you've ever seen. But a talented sp pitchman who could make things sound good but the prop of a hat, which is why he went to work for McCann Erickson, one of the great public relations firms in the history of our city. He led that firm to unparalleled heights, and for a while when I ran my company, I hired Clisby Clark to do all the public relations for our company. He married Bunny from our days at the University of Georgia. I remember Bunny and Clisby at the SAE house for many, many nights. Clisby sitting around the paint piano entertaining us, my wife Diane and I, who then wasn't my wife, but I was dating and enjoying it, just enjoying our great friendship and his great talent. Clisby, when he retired from McCann Erickson, didn't quit working. He volunteered his time for others. And in fact, when he passed away late this weekend at night in his sleep, it was after having a very successful planning session for a dinner that's going to be held June 1st in Atlanta, Georgia, where over 750 people are coming to a black tie event which will raise over one half million dollars for veterans who've been injured with tra tragic brain injury or PTSD. Clisby never stopped working for those less fortunate or those who needed help, and his commitment to that project is unparalleled in our city's history. When we all go to that dinner on this coming June 1st on that evening and celebrate the victory for raising the money for those with TBI and PTSD, we'll also dedicate that evening to Clisby Clark, a great Georgian and a great American who from the day he was born to the day he passed away was always paying tribute and doing his loving work for those that were less fortunate and in need. To his wife, Bunny, to his family and to his many friends, to all of us that were together, fraternity brothers at the SAE House at the University of Georgia in Athens, we pay our tribute to Clisby Clark, a great American. May God bless his soul. And I yield back the time, Mr. Speaker.